three o'clock in the afternoon, so it's been more than a day and a half since we finished corn, but it rained a bunch and it was really foggy and overcast um, today and yesterday, so the beans were too wet to go. Uh, but now the sun's been out for a couple of hours and we see several other groups out in the field cutting corn, but we're gonna give it a try and see if the beans at Gary's are ready to go. I'm going to go over and clean the windows on the combine first and then Chris is going to get there to get it ready to go. Now he'll be able to see all of it really good for at least a couple minutes until the bean dust gets on it. Better pull the cart out. Well, Chris went out in the field and taste tested and he said he had to eat about five or six before he found one that was crunchy. The rest of them were squishy. So I figured I would come out here and do a taste test too. It's crazy because everybody that's been cutting, they said it's been real, real dry. But all our neighbor's gone back to corn, so uh, maybe his was real wet too. Yep. They're just squishy. They're not crunchy. They're still wet. But I don't know how they're going to be moisture-wise. They'll probably dip the combine in the field and they'll be real wet, but it'll be interesting to see how wet. Harvest is going really good. We haven't had any breakdowns really, so that kind of makes it seem like it's going pretty fast. So we're already in the beans, and even though they're a little bit wet, we might as well get them out while the getting's good. You never know what the weather's going to do tomorrow or next week. Chris, it looked like you had trouble with the head there at the beginning, trying to get it to float. It was not just the settings, I did get it to work right. Uh, the problem was that we installed a new um, float control mechanism, which was a solid rod instead of a cable. And the bracket that protects that rod was bent when we set it on the trailer. And the bent bracket prevented the rod from moving the full extension when the head was set on the ground and then it wouldn't let off. And so once we pulled the bracket back out so the rod had free full movement through its whole range, then the head set and operated correctly.
All that tall green stuff out in the field is water hemp. It's a weed that didn't get killed. And Chris is trying not to drive over it with the combine because if it goes through, that combine is going to throw it all out the back. After he cuts this swath across the field, it'll be a lot easier to get out there and get it. If you didn't see it, go back and check out yesterday, day 10. The girls and I and Chris took a flatbed wagon out there and pulled the water hemp all around the sides of the field. Just couldn't get out to the middle, so we'll have to do that again tomorrow. Chris pulled up to dump the first load onto the wagon. I had to run over there because I suddenly realized that I hadn't checked to make sure the door was closed on the wagon. Didn't want to dump those beans straight onto the ground. Also, I could have sworn there was a day where the corn ran out to the bottom of the wagon because the door wasn't closed, but I can't remember what day it is so that I can reference it. Um, it was corn? After it rained because we left it open, it kind of rained. Right. And I think it was in Gary's driveway over by the shed on the East Drive. So the wagon was sitting ready to go to the auger and I pulled up and started. Then realized it was open when Luke jumped out of the truck and shut it off, but not long enough it ran a little bit out and he got the gate shut before it all ran out. But a little bit did run out. But I don't remember what day that was. Packing a wagon with a three-point hitch like that is actually pretty difficult, especially over a distance. Chris is good at it, and I like to think I'm pretty good at it, and we believe it runs in the family since my dad won a competition at the state fair back in wagons back in the day. Next time, there's Lazy Boy. It is day 12 of harvest. Day 12 already? Oh, look, I'm driving a clown car. Check out my 1 16th scale elevator replica. Whoa, careful speeding there. You don't want to miss this week's extra long event, Harvest Day 12. I think you could do it a little more enthusiastically than that. That was enthusiasm. That's as good as it gets, buddy. Thank you to everyone for watching. We'll be putting out a new video every Saturday morning, so please like and subscribe to see more.